Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will review how to properly use the ECS Inc. International ST Microelectronics Automotive Crystal Selection Tool. This tool is specific to the SPC5 and STM8 family of automotive ARM Cortex microcontrollers. ECS Inc. offers the widest selection of approved crystals for SPC5 and STM8 MCUs. This tool is designed to help simplify the crystal selection process and allow engineers to make considered choices for the crystals they will use in their designs. The SPC5 family of 32-bit automotive microcontrollers is designed to accommodate a wide range of automotive applications ranging from gateways, electromobility, and ADAS to engine and transmission control. Based on a PowerPC architecture, SPC5 microcontrollers provide up to three cores operating at up to 200 megahertz and an operating temperature of minus 40 to plus 150 degrees C. The STM8 family of microcontrollers implemented around a high performance 8-bit core and state-of-the-art set of peripherals. This platform is manufactured using an ST Microelectronics proprietary 130 nanometer embedded non-volatile memory technology. The STM8 allows fast and safe development through enhanced stack pointer operations, advanced addressing modes, and new instructions. To access this tool from our homepage, you can hover over resources and then over design tools. Then click on the SPC5 and STM8 automotive crystal selection tool. You will be taken to the landing page for the tool. On this page, you will get description of the tool and some links to helpful technical guides and good engineering practices. And the link to the SPC5 and STM8 automotive crystal selection tool, click on Take Me There. This will open the tool in full screen mode. Within the tool, you'll see options for selecting specific MCU series or by selecting the specifications that help an engineer to narrow down the options to an appropriate crystal for their design. Along with orderable part numbers, you will see links to data sheets and available inventories through our distributor sales partners. Let's start by looking at the MCU selections. On the right side of the page, you see a column for selecting the SPC5 and STM8 automotive series. You can highlight the box next to the series that you intend to use. You can further refine the search by selecting available specifications from the columns on the right. As you select your MCU and series or start to make selections from the specifications column, the parts list in the table below will simultaneously narrow down to the parts that only meet your criteria. Keep in mind, if you are searching by electrical specifications only, you will need to have a good understanding of your design and board layout, including things like package size, load capacitance, stray capacitance on the board. This is critical in order to achieve a balanced and accurate oscillation. Looking at the table on the left side, you will see the available part numbers and their electrical specifications. On the right of the table, there are links to view and download data sheets and also a link to check available inventories. Let's review the selection process. The first column is the SPC5 and STM8 series. This column allows you to find and select the microcontroller that you will be using. The second column is the gain margin. The gain margin offers GM crits of greater than 5. This ensures a safe gain margin and guarantees startup performance. This allows engineers to refine their choices of ESR, CL, and CO to match their designs. Below gain margin is frequency. 
selecting the frequency in megahertz of operations that you want your MCU to operate at. In column three on the top is the actual gain margin. This is a calculated value from the range of crystals able to meet the design needs and is equal to or lower than the design GM crit max. So it works like this. Any selected MCU and drive level has a GM or transconductance. When this is calculated in the tool by the actual GM crit, we get the corresponding gain margin. You can find GM listed next to the series in the table below. There are also further selections for operating temperature, tolerance, equivalent series resistance, package size, stability, and load capacitance. And because these selections are active, making a selection may limit the options for other specifications. Sometimes you need to unselect and refine your search when using the specifications. Let's run through the steps for selecting an automotive crystal. First, we want to pick the MCU that we're going to use. In this case, we'll select the SPC5 56D line. When we make this selection, we see the list of parts with a gain margin greater than 5 that could be used. These are all the crystals with a gain margin suitable to work with the SPC 56D line series. At this point, you can choose frequencies of 8, 10, 12, or even 16 megahertz. Or if you're looking for the lowest ESR option, we would select the ESR of 50. Now, when we look at the table below, we can see that we've arrived at the suitable part number for this SPC5 series. The ECS 160 8 30 Q VY TR. Now, let's run through the selection of an STM8 crystal. But first, let's click the Clear All Filters to get back to a clean selection tool by hitting the button on the right. Then we can scroll the MCU column down until we get to the STM8 series. Let's select the STM8AL. The STM8L is an ultra low power series with a focus on green energy, application safety, and power efficiency at the forefront. We see the selections have been narrowed down to only include the crystals with a frequency of 8 and 16 megahertz. We can choose one of those or further refine our search, search options to optimize power. Let's pick the 16 megahertz. This is going to optimize processor performance. You can see that we've now arrived at the part that best suits our requirements. The ECS 160 8 33 B2Q JVY TR3. If we look at the right of the table, we see the options for clicking on either data sheets or where we can view where we can view and download, or we can click on inventory link. Let's click on the data sheets. Here we find the ECS Inc. data sheet, which you can download and save to your files. If we click on the inventory, we see that a new window is open and it shows available inventory by authorized distributor. This link also offers a cart icon for purchase now. The entire database for the SPC5 and STM8 families of automotive ARM Cortex microcontrollers is searchable and will allow for many different searches. Try selecting different specs to help find the crystal that best suits your design. You can always reset any field by clicking the selected box again. Also, all fields can be reset at any time by hitting Clear All Filters button on the right. We hope you found this tool for the SPC5 and STM8 families of automotive ARM Cortex microcontrollers useful. Thank you.